All right, so here we have our basic neuron, and today we're going to discuss the various parts of this neuron and how those parts help the uh, neuron do what it does. So, basically, surrounding the neuron is what's called a synaptic gap, which are these gaps in between various, you know, other neurons, and um, flowing through these are messages or neurotransmitters that fit like a lock and key into certain dendrites of other neurons, which are these tree-like things that branch off of the cell body. So, um, once the neurotransmitters go through the... Uh, through the dendrites, um, they come to the cell body, uh, also called, which is this area around here. It's um, it's also called the soma, and inside this cell body is um, a nucleus, just like every other cell, um, providing life. And uh, same with the cell body, giving life to the uh, giving life to the neuron. So these neurotransmitters are then going to, uh, before they get to their main kind of traveling path, which is the uh, axon right here, they have to go through what's called an axon uh, axon hillock, which is uh, in between the cell body and the axons, the axon, and basically detects if there's enough neurotransmitters um, ready to send a message. It's an all or nothing thing, so it's not going to like let a couple through. It's, are there enough? All right, there are. We're going to send them all through. Now, as the messages pass through the axon, um, which basically just sends messages, that's what it does, it must go through uh, these well, there's myelin sheaths surrounding the axon, so it kind of passes through them, I guess. And these provide not only protection for the axon, but also speeding, speeds up the whole process of sending the message. And the little gaps that are in between these are called the nodes of Ranvier. Um, and they basically just, uh, they, you know, are sections where the, the um, axon is, is exposed. And they just help um, the messages kind of jump from uh, myelin sheath to myelin sheath and speed up the whole process as well. Um, after this, the messages come into um, these terminal branches of the axon, and this is like their final stopping point for that axon, for that, um, for that uh, uh, neuron. So this is where they're going to then shoot out to other neurons. And inside these uh, terminal branches, there are um, uh, inside terminal branches there are these vesicles, which are like little balloon-shaped things that hold all little neurotransmitters, and those will then come out. Um, to the end of each each branch and uh, shoot out, um, sending these neurotransmitters and messages back into the synaptic gaps, which will then be, um, which will then fit into more dendrites of another neuron, and uh, keep the relaying of messages moving throughout, um, moving throughout our bodies. And so, as you can see, this is our basic neuron, and this is the basic path of the transmitters, uh, neurotransmitters through the neuron, and yeah, those are its parts.